Hello everyone and welcome to the Convocation Center as we get ready for a non-conference matchup between the Cal U Vulcans and the Marauders of Central State University. Hello everyone, I'm John Sakaguchi. Joining with me, making his basketball debut for CU TV is John Hunsate. How are you doing, John? Oh, I'm doing good, John. Thank you for the intro. Um, I'm looking forward to tonight's game. Both teams have had uh, very successful starts to their season so far. So the writing's on the wall for a good matchup here tonight. All right, now let's take a look at the tail of the tape. John, can you give us a rundown? So for Calgary, over the last three games, they're averaging 78.3 points per game and giving up 60 points a game. They're shooting 46% from the field and 29% from three and 76% from the free throw line. All right, now, oh, last time the Vulcans played was on Monday night against Fairmont State. They came away with a victory, 96-66. to 66. All right, John, I'm just going to take a look here now at the starter. Here's for or Central State. For Central State, we have a freshman, uh, or we have a freshman forward number one, Lilla Chambers. We have freshman guard number three, Diamond Phillips. We have freshman guard, Kaylin Nash. We have freshman guard number 14, Catherine Jones. And we have freshman guard number 22, Sierra Hardy. A lot of uh, freshmen there. And now take a look at on the Vulcan side of thing. things. Looking a lot, very familiar from last time. Start, starting number two, who guard, junior, or er, Sierra er, Lloyd. Hey, <coughs> And then you have number 20, Shauna Harrison. And, and number 22, Lauren Bennett. Number 32, Deja uh, Terrell. And number 34, Brianna Allen. And all whole juniors and sophomores for that starting lineup uh, for Cal U. And teams will meet eating out. Oh, 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 here for the tip off. And we are underway. Cal U's going to start it all off. Lloyd. Into the corner or to Harrison. Harrison and knocks it back up to the top of the key. He, Lloyd's going to take it and, run, and try to run the gauntlet to the corner. Shot up. No good for the Vulcan. And Central State will take over, but steal by Cal U. Lloyd's going to uh, set things up, and that one's going to get tipped out. So no, no backcourt violation. Shot up. Rebound no good. Good. Cal 0 for 2 Ooh, in the shooting department. And that's where Cal's been struggling so far this season. They've had success uh, winning all three of their games so far, but they have struggled from the three-point line. So for them to make a deeper run, they need to start making those shots. Breakaway, a chance, and shot up, no good, and an out of little bounce, but it's going to go oh, in favor of the Vulcans. Nothing, nothing to score, or 9-15 in to go here in the first quarter. Lloyd on the inbound pass. Over to Harrison and shot up. Up, rolls around the rim. No good. Cal U comes back with the rebound and it's going to score it away from the Vulcans. Breakaway chance here for Central State in the corner. Three e ball up and good. That was Diamond Phillips. Just a great fast break there um, from the Marauders and just finding Phillips in the corner for three. Lloyd's going to uh, bring it up. Uh, looks like going to go with that 3 2 zone motion offense here. Shot up, up from Allen. No good. Brought down. Allen back up again and in. Very strong rebound there by Terrell. You just got to box her out because she will get those rebounds every single time. And traveling and called against the Marauders. There's not the way they want to start things. You had the lead. Now you're giving Cal you some momentum. Um, Lloyd set the inbound. Allen will take the inbound pass. They're going to go with that, that t uh, trap play there. Lloyd's going to bring it up, try to run the gauntlet. It shot up, no good, short. She gets her own rebound on and in. 4-3 to score now. Lloyd has been sensational for this team so far, and by just doing plays like that, just driving in towards the basket, making tough shots, and even if she misses, she's out there getting her own rebounds. Up the top, the key e central eight's going to start a trap play here for Cal U. Looking for er, er, some help here. There are er, er, three Vulcans in there, and that's going to cause a steal. Harrison and takes the lead pass. As a little contact and nothing called. Cal U's going to come back the rebound. Oh, and finally, we get a whistle here. There they're going to say out of bounds. Ball all goes to central state. 
that was just a good play though by Cal on the defense to begin with. They just had great, great trap in the corner, forcing a bad pass and unfortunately they couldn't get a basket on the other end. Yeah, looking at the replay here, er, just a struggle there er, from both sides, but Harrison's back went out of bounds, so they're gonna sit. That's why I, it is now in favor of Central State. I'll bring it up here. Here, Phillips throws it off to her wingmate. Hey, another steal from Cal U. You up and in. Brianna Allen with the, the easy bucket there. Yeah, now Central State eight trails by three. Gonna set it up, up top of the arc. We're going with that 2-1-2 two, two offense. Yeah, of a screen violation again and Central State. So Lloyd's pass it in and turnover by the Vulcans, something we don't call too often. And 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 da -da 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 -da, charge call. That was just great, uh, great way to get back into position there. Just forcing the like bad turnover there um, by Lloyd, but able to get back in position to take the charge. And, and Cal, who's going to bring it in? Harrison, a three ball up and good. Beautiful three ball there by Shauna Harrison. Is Cal Hughes going to get another or charge call? Well, this one going to get and number one and Lola Chambers. I think they're calling the uh, they're calling that a blocking there, a blocking foul there on on Lola. She just didn't have her feet set uh, properly enough uh, for for it to be a charge. So looking for the inbound pass. Got to hurry. And they're gonna call that time. Um, it was gonna be a, a charge call. On well, number 14 in Catherine Jones. Yeah, Jones just had her arm extended there. You can't, uh, you can't be pushing players around like that. Not, uh, not now anyway. But that's why they called the charge there. So Lloyd inbound Owens, Owens over to Allen, and just get, it's going to get called for or a backcourt violation. A little too strong of a pass there from Lloyd. It was just a bit careless there. She just. From from where we're standing, she just looks like she just lobbed it over, and um, and she just wasn't ready to receive it. Miller inbounds to almost to Phillips. She'll bring it up. She's going to drop. I have quick pass and no shot. Uh, foul against the Marauder. Or is that's their or four, their third foul? And that's another charge there by the Marauders. That's good. Uh, good team defense there by the Vulcans, and that's something that every uh, everyone on the Vulcans team is looking for. You always want your players to be out there taking charges for for the team. And yeah, can't get into foul trouble too early. Though. Oh, this is already the third foul. Oh, against the Marauders. Allen's going to take the lead pass and drive it up. Uh, little loops it over. Or a little miscommunication by the Vulcan. And it's, and rebound on no good for the Vulcans. Here comes the Marauders up the court. Or Jones. Looking for er, er, some help here as Cal U's bringing that trap and they're going to turn it over. Er, and Cal U, U's going to uh, lose control of that one. Traveling violation against the Marauders. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of scoring yet so far. It's just been a very, very sloppy game by both the Vulcans and the Marauders. I'm sure both coaches aren't entirely get happy about what's going on so far. Kennedy, a London will, will check into the game. Vulcans bringing it in. Allen shot up off the front of the rim. Rebound on brought down by the Marauder. There's Chambers. Pass it up. Chamber, there's a take the pass. Three ball up. Deep ball all off the back of the rim. Um, no good. Lloyd gets the rebound and brings it up. Sets it up. Deep pass inside. Two points for the Vulcans. Oh, what a pass there by Lloyd. Just fizzes it right into that space. And then Terrell can just finish it. What a great pass there by Lloyd. 
Seeing what I Terrell is one of the leading scorers right now. All for Cal U. Here's the everybody in the trap again. Still owned by I Harrison. And Deloyd. Easy bucket. At 13 to 3, your score with five minutes to go in the first. And we're going to get a timeout out Central State. Yeah, it's just been a very sloppy first five minutes here of the game. And um, just a lot of turnovers, a lot of bad possessions, landing in charges or forced shots. But hopefully after the break, how you can, uh, how you can clean up their play. Take a look here at some replay. Plays and a couple old good shots we had. That one on the putback from Lloyd. Lloyd here or after the rebound. And then this three ball here. Or excuse me, the steal. Oh. Oh, and break away a four or Allen. It's just a uh, great trap there by Lloyd and Allen forcing forcing the player onto their bad hand and then just picking it out. And the three ball all by Harrison. And and this one, the little dump and go. Oh, to Ooh, Terrell there, and then the other one and from Harrison, and lead pass to Lloyd. We just saw moments ago oh, on the fast break. Up and in. So, John, if you're Central State, what are you, what are you talking about out of your the coaching staff there? Uh, you're just talking about slowing the game down. It just seems like they're like moving way too fast for, like they're moving out of their shoes, it kind of seems like. They just need to slow the game down. Uh, run their plays correctly and just uh, try not to and try not to turn the ball over and get better shots because they just have not had any good looks. Definitely want to get to keep an eye on that one, one for sure. Or or because they've been in foul trouble so far to start. That one and slipped up. Oh, it looks like I think the marauder or the player lost her footing there. That was. It's number three, Phillips, slipping yeah. and losing the ball, and has a uh, looks like she's hurting a little bit. And Phillips just got eaten by the court monster there, just tripped and fell. The ball banged off her leg and went out of bounds. Number 22, Lauren Bennett will check in now for or the Vulcans. Lloyd, Lloyd brings it up to a mid court. It's going to set it up. Looks like they're going to go with that four round on one. Bennett takes it over to Harrison. She's going to drive the lane. Quick pass to Terrell and in. Great ball movement there by the Vulcan, just swinging it around. And Harrison finding a great pass in there to, to Terrell. And a good steal there by the Vulcans. Ends as Lloyd brings it up. Going to settle things down, hands it over to Allen. They're going to call, uh, slow it down for a moment and get things set up. Over to Bennett. Bennett. Over to Terrell. Terrell takes a three ball up off the front of the rim. And we're going to get a jump ball here. Possession arrow. Goes in favor of California. Or excuse me, it goes to Central State. And that's where uh, Cal has been struggling so far this season. Like I mentioned before, they just have not been making their three-pointers, shooting under 30% for the season if they want to uh, win these uh, win these closer games they need to be making these three pointers yeah especially whenever they take on IUP in Edinburgh or later this season and I'm gonna say a ball is going to go out of bounds on, on Central State Calu will take over with 337 left to go here or 15-3 your score Lloyd inbounds to Allen. Back to Lloyd. She'll bring it up to half court. Lloyd's going to drive down low to Harrison. Three ball all from Bennett in the corner. No good. Rebound brought down by Miller. And they'll drive it up. A quick pass in just over the head of the, the uh, Marauder there. That one's going to go out, the pl out of play. And it just seems very uncharacteristic here from Central State. They're coming off a good win, a good 20-point win over uh, the Virgin Island um, University. And so it just seems very, 
very strange that they're coming out here and they just can't seem to get a good possession together. Harrison back to Bennett. At, at Terrell is going to try to drive and have it stolen away. Hey, that's going to be one of the big things for Cal U is going to be ball possession. And, and Hardy's going to drop. I have, and it's going to be tripped up. Oh, and that's going to be a foul against Cal U. Yeah, it just, it just seems like they're, uh, like I said before, they're just moving too fast. They need to, uh, or Central State needs to slow the game down to their pace, not play at the pace of Cal U, and just try to get these possessions flowing correctly because they just have not been able to get a good shot off. That one, that inbound pass, just a little too strong. Almost went out of bounds. Oh, so it's number 12 of London and takes the, takes the pass and the ball's going to go to out of bounds in favor of the Marauders. Marauders set to inbound. Peterson's going to inbound for the Marauders. Quick shot up in and out of the rim. Um, no good. The Vulcans will bring it up. up. Pass to Harrison and odd up and too strong. Brought down by the Marauders. Peterson sets up up top of the key. They're going to drop. Uh, she's going to take it herself on a floater and it air balls it. Cal will bring it up. Um, that's number 21 on Julia Burrs. Pass it over to Harrison. Harrison over to Terrell. She's going to drive it. A quick pass to Allen. Up and in. Great play there by Terrell. Just unselfish. Good, strong drive into the paint and dishes it off to Allen for the easy, easy finish. Peterson sets it up. Has a screen into her right. Hands it off. Off to London. Her shot up and good. Quick pass there, Aaron to Allen. Allen over to Harrison. In the corner to Lauren Bennett, shot up, and it's good for three. Just oh, they're going to count it a two-pointer on that one. I thought she had the three ball. I think her foot was on the line there, but it was very lackadaisical defense there by the Marauders, just no one getting back in transition. Marauders trying to set something up here. here. And they're going to get a travel call all against it's Miller there. Going to get a substitution, and Hallie Harrington will jump into the into the fray now. Oh, her first action of the day. The Vulcans will bring it up. Over to Harrison. Harrison. Over to Lord. Hey, to Harrington. Harrington's going to drop. I have back, back to Terrell. Terrell over to Harrington. They'll play catch over, over to, to Barris. Barris is going to uh, stop off and go. Has a screen. Has to get the shot off to Harrison for three. And off the rim, no good. Bennett will bring down the rebound. Harrington's shot just goes short. Or in, and the Marauders will rebound it and hang a ache out here. Yeah, if you're the Marauders here, you slow it down. You take the final shot. You try to get a... Run a nice play, get a good possession. And we're going to get a push off here against the Marauders. Oh, excuse me, that one's going to go against the, against the Vulcans here. Lauren Bennett going to get it called for the foul. Kennedy London and set to inbound. Excuse me, it'll be Abigail Peterson. Peterson down low. Oh, shot up. No good. Good. Rebounded by the Vulcans. Ten to go here, here in the first quarter. I'll bring it up. up. Five seconds left. Barris going to drive it here. here. Shot up. No good. Good. So, oh, 19 to 5. Your score or here at the end of the first quarter. When we come back, back, it'll be set for the second quarter of action. And Cal, you leads it here on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, and 
on the PSAC Network. Back by popular demand and better than ever is late night dining in the Natalie Student Center. Join us starting Monday, October 18th at the hot spot for evening dining, Natali Evening Eats, located on the second floor of Natali next to Umami. Open Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And on weekends, 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m., Natali Evening Eats is a one-stop shop for your favorite menu items. Orders can be placed through our mobile app or at the designated Evening Eats kiosk. We can't wait to see you there. Hello, everyone, and welcome back here to the Convocation Center as we get set for the second quarter. Er, the Vulcans lead at 19 to 5. Hi, uh, John, and give us our players to watch here. For uh, for the Cal U Vulcans, our player to watch here is uh, Deja Terrell. She's averaging 18.7 points per game, 8.7 rebounds. She's shooting 40 about 47% from the field, and she's averaging six blocks a game. That is absolutely insane. And for Central State, the player to watch is Catherine Jones. She's having, averaging 23 points, four rebounds. She's shooting 50% from three in only 24 minutes a game. And that was through the first game. So let's see what she can does here. Just an interesting stat from the first quarter. Um, Central State had 13 turnovers in the first quarter. That is unacceptable for them. Yeah, that is definitely an insane... And Stat can't have that going forward. Erd Harrington is going to run it up, up to Barris. Barris is going to set it up, up and hand it back to Harrington. And shot up, up for three. Good hood from Olivia Hudson. Now all the Oldham Rodgers looking to get it back here. Or tipped out of bounds by Harrington. And but it's going to be the Marauder ball. Marauders in back on Peterson will take it. It almost stolen away. Hey there, three ball up in and out of the rim, no good. And we're going to get a foul called here. That one's going to be against that's number 52, Ooh, Katarina uh, Maros. Her first of the foul of the game. Harrison over, over to Harrington, and she's going to drive it down low oh, to uh, Terrell. It's stolen away hey, by the Marauders. Central State will bring it up. They're going to try to run and so, on a new play here. Er, stolen away by the Vulcan, and it's Harrington and on the breakaway. Hey, up and too strong. Well, Terrell's going to sell it down. Excuse me, that's Olivia Hudson that's got it. And no good. Barris' shot. No good. And, and out of bounds, it'll be. And it's going to sit a, a Vulcan in basketball oh, as it goes off of the foot of, Mar of a Marauder there. That's just like video game plays right there. Just every shot that you're going up, just nothing's going in. and Keep luck. shooting until it goes in. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Hudson shot off the front of the rim and out. Oh, and that one's going to be a you know, reaching foul, foul against Shauna Harrison. And so each team's got a foul here or in the, first, the second quarter of play. Well, even though all those shots aren't going in, it just shows good hustle there by the Vulcans just willing to throw their body out there to get those offensive rebounds to get extra, extra possessions there for their team. That's why they were one of the tougher teams to play in 2019. He is that shot's air mail. And, and Peterson makes the bucket. Fast break here for the Vulcans. Shot up. No good. good. Olivia Hudson's going to go to the line now. I'll hold to shoot a pair. Just great fast break there by the Vulcans. Just good solid rebound and pushing it up to Hudson. And Hudson can drive very um, very powerfully to the basket and earn herself some free throws. Hudson, who was one of the better free throw shooters for the Vulcans back in 2019, in 2020 run, and makes the first one. 23 to seven, your score. Let's 
Shot is up, no good. good. So your score remains 23 to seven with 8.16 to go here in the second quarter. There's a pat. Pass to Nash. Shot up, no good. Nash rebounds for the Marauders, but there's a herd of Vulcans and it's gonna be stolen away. Hey, but I, Allen, quick pass to Barris. Fat all called. Well, that would have been a great shot to see if she made that one. That was an amazing pass there by Harrington. Just dribbles one way, looks the other way, fires the ball back towards uh, the towards her left and just fakes everyone. But you got to foul her to make sure that um, that shot isn't going in there. Allen will check back into the game for Harrington. Now, uh, Barris goes to the line shooting too. First one up and good. 24 or the seven, your score now. And if you're Cal U at this point, you're just uh, looking to um, looking to just push your lead. You're looking to slow the game down, just, just run as much clock as you can because this lead already seems, this lead is already fairly large and it seems like with the way the Marauders have been playing that it's gonna be very difficult for them to get back in the game. Barris makes that one, and she'll take a breather here. Here, number 11. And Amaya uh, Yard, Woodyard will check at the end of the game. And that one's going to go out of, of play. Oh, excuse me, Amaya. Uh, Oh, excuse me, he may yacht. He, I, I am sorry for that. So, oh, Falcons are going to take, we're going to get a timeout called here. Here, take a look at some of these replays here real quick. Here from the second quarter. A beautiful shot by Allen up and in on the putback. Then here, here that three ball all for Central State. And then Harrison, and over to Bennett in the corner, or er, three ball up and good. And Olivia Hudson's three ball. Oh, Cal, you who feel having a good time shooting out here, or is there up 25 to seven, and with 7:45 to go? And in those replays, that just shows what Cal U has been good at so far in this game, just making that extra pass, like. These players have had these open shots, but they make one more pass to get uh, to get it um, to get it over to for it to be an, an even better shot, and that's why they've had this lead so far. So Central State ready to inbound here. London in balance to Peterson. She'll take it from half court. Horton driving in. Looking for some help there. It's stolen away by the Vulcans. And we're going to get a kickball all violation. Peterson is going to inbound here, here for the Marauders. Throws it out onto mid court. I mean, number 12, Old Kennedy London picking it up. She'll start at the top of the key. He shoots a three and airmails it. Aimed by the Marauders, but into the hands of the Vulcans. Yardwood into the corner of the Hudson. She'll drive it. And it's going to be out of bounds on the Vulcans. She just dribbled off her own foot there, but yet again, that's just another, um, another possession by the Marauders where they just force a shot, and that time it was airballed. Peterson is going to drive the lane and shot up off the side of the rim. Put back shot and good. Good by Lola Chambers. Yardwood would set the inbound on over to Allen. Back to Yardwood. That one's going to be a foul. Oh. Layla Turner called for the foul all against the Marauders. 
the Marauders just they've been doing this full court press uh, after the inbound and they just don't seem to be uh, committing to it they seems like uh, the Balkans have been baking, breaking it pretty easily so they need to either um, uh, like maintain it like more or they need to uh, get rid of it altogether. Hutchins shot up for over three no good Allen down low oh back back to Yardwood shot no good shot up for the Vulcan and from Hudson off the side of the rim but there's a foul Hudson into the line shooting two So Hudson and to the line uh, and shooting two. She, he's one for two already this game. That one hit, hits the iron, iron no good on the first shot. Second one up and good. 26 to nine, your score. Here come on the Marauder. Er's gonna try to run on a little three-two zone here. Here, no good. Good. Hudson on the steal. Oh, drives the lane. Shot up. Oh, too strong. Oh, looking for a foul. Nothing called. Here come on the Marauders back. Peterson. Shot up. And they're going to say no shot. Uh, that's going to be a charge call again. It's the Marauders. And that's exactly what you want if you're the Vulcans. Just the Marauders haven't been getting into a rhythm at all and just getting these charging fouls. They uh, they just maintain that momentum. The Vulcans maintain the momentum, and it's a great, uh, a great motivation for your team whenever someone gets a charge. Terrell is going to take it into herself. Too strong. On Harrison and puts back the shot on that one and makes it 28 to 9. Here, but here come the Marauders looking for or something quick and no good foul full against Cal U. That's probably been the best bit of possession that the uh, that Central State has had all night. Um, London just driving down to her left and just getting a shot up in a couple of Vulcans players' faces and gets the foul. London to the line to shoot two. She makes the first one. 28 to 10 now your score. Second one up and good. London making in both of those, so oh, that'll cut the score down to 28-11 with 5.37 to go here in the second quarter. Woodyard inbounds the pass to Allen. Back to Woodyard. She'll bring it up the court. She's going to drive out of the lane. And Euro step and in. Maya Woodyard. Heard her first bucket of the game, 30 to 11, Cal U. Central State looking in to get it going here. Here as Zimmerman sets it up. Has a screen, but here comes a trap from Cal U. And Zimmerman's gonna fall over. And that's gonna be a traveling call. Oh, ball goes back into the possession of the Vulcans. And yet again, that's just an, another great, uh, um, just another great possession there by the Vulcans on defense. Just, uh, just using that trap very effectively and forcing another, yet another turnover. Woodyard will bring it up over to Bennett. Bennett to Hudson. Back to Woodyard. She'll drive the lane. And Allen shot, and in on the floater, 32-11, and with less than five to go here or in the first half. Zimmerman, down low, low to Matos. That one's going to be an air ball. Oh, pulled down by the Vulcans. Lead pass. Allen's going to try to save it and just too far out of her reach. Just unlucky there by 
the Vulcans. They get a great, I don't even know if it was an air ball or if it was a block shot, but they push the tempo. They get the ball down the court, but just a bit too much, a uh, bit too much oomph on the ball there. Maros, a 6 3 center or freshman for the Marauders. Ers doesn't miss, the, miss too many shots like that often. And Zimmerman looks for help. Help over the Chambers. Chambers is going to drive the lane. And her shot off the side of the rim and brought down on by Terrell. Oh, quick pass. Uh, stolen by uh, <laughs> the Marauders. Ers and Chambers shot. Uh, it is going to be fouled. Oh, then she's going to go to the line and shoot two. As we look at the replay here, here you see he just, oh, it's a little too aggressive there. Here by Woodyard. It was just a poor play by Terrell. She got the rebound. She had two players, two other Vulcans on the other side of the court, just wide open, and she just she did not pick her head up to find the pass. First shot up and good. Uh, 32 to 12, your score here, or with four minutes left to go. That's probably the the uh, the only bad thing I've said about Terrell all night. She's been terrific so far. And that one will be made a 32-13. Your score. Or Cal, you leads it. Woodyard brings it up. Pass it over to Bennett. Bennett shoot, shoots it for or two. Good. 34-13. In the score, Cal, you just run away with this one here. And Bennett has been doing that all. She's been sitting in that corner and uh, they just keep leaving her open and she just keeps making those good shots. Zimmerman sets it up, up, looking for that four round one. Has a screen, she's gonna drive it. it and they're gonna call a charge foul uh, against the Marauders. Woodyard will bring it in. She'll drive it up. up. Kicks it in the corner to Allen. Allen, top of the key. Ida Hudson shoots for three. Too strong. Long in the rebound. It's going to go off of Marauder's hand and then out of play. Cal U will regain possession. And 34 13, your score with 310 to go. This has got to be one of the uh, the strangest games I've, I've ever watched. This. I've never, this is just such a sloppy game by both teams. Bennett's shot up and good for two. Ooh, she, he loves that far corner. Or 36, 13, your score with three minutes to go. Rotter shot, no good. Hood rebound brought down by the Vulcans. Allen sets it up, back to Hudson for three. Off the front of the rim. Him and the Vulcans are getting called for traveling as two of them came down with the basketball. Allen a little slow to get up here. Take a look at the replay here, here John. Well, as we see what happened, and on that replay, a Woodyard Erd and Allen both went up for that rebound. On oh, and Allen coming down on oh, on with the worst of it. Yeah, both just yelling, "I got it, I got it!" But they weren't listening to each other. But she looks to be, uh, she's limping, but she looks to be uh, be able to walk off on her own uh, on her own accord. So she's gonna uh, take a moment and get checked out here. Here on the bench, edge, Holly Harrington will check back into the game and with 245. I have to go in the first half. 36-13, your score here. And even if you're Cal at this point, uh, you're probably, like, with this big of a lead, you're probably looking to sit uh, to sit Allen regardless because she's been one of your best players and you don't want something like that to happen again. And here come the Marauders. That one and tipped away. A stolen by the Vulcans. Harrington's going to drive the lane, and she's going to slow it down, set things up. Woodyard is going to call old for or traveling on that one. That's going to hand it back over her to the Marauders. There has to be combined more turnovers than points this game. Like there has to be. There's no way. Like this is just such a sloppy game. Both teams. Just can't seem, they just seem to be turning the ball over back to each other. Rodgers will bring it up. Oh, Chambers 
She's going to run it and off the side of the rim. No good. She'll bring down her own rebound on stolen away hey, by the Vulcan and huts it and gets another steal. Oh, well, Woodyard is going to drop out of the court as they got a trap going. But well, gets it over to Bennett. Bennett down on low. Oh, to Terrell for two. Great find there by Bennett, and Terrell just made that backdoor cut, and it was a good job by Bennett to find her. That one is a quick, quick score. Or in that one, just a little too much. I thought Woodyard was about out to get the bucket and the foul. I thought she had it too. She had such a weird motion that she had moving her arm up. And you can look at the replay here. Great, great find there by Harrington. And it looks like she had it just flipping it up and in, but just couldn't get the ball to roll in. A little bit of contact there going up, up just to disrupt it. It would your or it'll go oh, to the line. Wanting to shoot her first pair of the night. And that one rolls off the rim, no good. 38-13, your score with 140 to go here in in the first half. And she makes the back end. And uh, the free one, and it's 39-13 your score. Shauna Harrison will check back into the game for the Vulcans. Chambers in bat. Owens. Marauders will bring it up past half court. Zimmerman, excuse me, Phillips, kicks it back. That's number 12. Oh, that's Kennedy London. And down low. Oh, and it's going to be a foul against Cal U. get a substitution for Cal U. Ooh, Harrison in who just checked in is going to check back out again. And that's going to be a five second violation against the Marauders. I saw this a couple times last week. Last game, John, I know you saw it too. Ooh, when Cal U took on Fairmont on state, you know, Monday night, they got a few of these five second violations. I mean, it's just unacceptable for, uh, for, any, for any team. You just you have to inbound the ball. I don't know. Like, the defense is there, but the defense is always there, so you have to in inbound the ball regardless. Cal U is setting up, up for round one. Bennett over to Hudson. Hudson drives the lane, pull up off the front of the iron. That one's going to be stolen by, what? by Woodyard. Or too aggressive of a pass there from the Marauders. Harrington, she'll drive the lane. And too strong off the top of the board. Or it's shot up, and that's going to be a foul. Cal U goes back to the charity stripe. Yeah, great rebound there by McPeak, and just able to get that shot up. But she obviously got fouled and is going back to the line. That was the first, first shot from or McPeak. In. And Cal U still struggling from the free throw line today. That's the third straight eight missed free throw for the Vulcans. Yeah, that's just another thing when you go play tough for opposition and play against uh, potentially in the playoffs, you just need to be making free throws. That one and brought up. up charge call against the Marauders once again. And Hardy a pleading her case. Cal U will take over with 46 to go. Oh, in the first half. Harrington's gonna bring it up. Over to Woodyard. Woodyard. Over to Bennett. Finds Harrington. Harrington turning shot off the front of the rim. No good. 30 seconds to go. Oh, two seconds. And difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Turning shot for the Marauders, no good. Good. 
Stolen away, Zimmerman up and in. Two point lanes for the Marauders. 39-15 in a little sloppy basketball there, or John. That's probably the best bit of play by the Marauders all night, just able to get a good steal and a good layup. Three ball by Hudson, no good. She'll get her own rebound. Drives the lane in from um, the free throw line, no good. And that's going to be out of bounds on the Vulcans. And with .2 seconds left to go. Yeah, there's no way to get a shot off here. .03 seconds is the, uh, or .3 seconds is the official limit for the shot. So the end of your first half here. So, oh, they'll just inbound it and then that one. When Cal U's going to go to the locker room with the lead, 39-15, your score. We'll be back here, here on CU TV, CU TV Sports 1, the PSAC Network. The Cal U Cupboard connects students to information, services, and resources both on and off campus while providing free items such as food, school supplies, personal hygiene items, and more to our students. Visit our two locations at the Vulcan Village Clubhouse and Natalie Student Center, or for a contactless option, visit bit.ly.com backslash CalUCubbard to request food or give donations. For important CalU information, community resources, and our how-to series, follow at CalUCubbard on Instagram and the campus-wide announcements.
Welcome back here to the Convocation Center, folks. We get set at four, or the second half of play. We're, we're going to take a moment here, look at some highlight aids as well. Oh, John's got some half time stats for us. All right, we have some leaders here for Central State in terms of points. Uh, Diamond Phillips is leading the way with five points, and Lola Chambers and Kennedy London each have four. And for the Vulcans, uh, leading the way is uh, Deja Terrell. She's got eight. And then uh, Brianna Allen and Lauren uh, Bennett each have six. Another interesting stat from the first half, Johnny, uh, Central State, 25 turnovers in the first half. That is just remarkable to me. I have never seen anything like that. Diamond Phillips for, uh, for Central State holding seven of them just, uh, just has, not been, uh, has not been their game so far. Yeah, definitely not, not been their game so far. Looking right now at some PSAC stuff. Uh, currently, Cal U, the U, U, Gannon, and IUP tied for first place in the conference on the west side of the division. And followed by I Slippery Rock, Edinburgh, Seton Hill, Pitt, Johnstown, Clarion, and Mercyhurst to round that out. Out on the east standings uh, is Lockhaven and, and Shepherd. Heard still undefeated over on the east side. Kutztown on on in third, Shippensburg, Mansfield, Bluesburg, Millersville, Westchester, and East Stroudsburg to round out, out the rest of the conference. And so, so we got uh, some games going on right now as we speak. We'll take a look at those when we get a moment. As we get ready to start our, the second half of action. And here we go. Oh. Ooh. Central State will oh, oh, start it off. Zimmerman. And a drive and the lane. Her first shot up and in. Getting the scoring started early. 39 17. Definitely a different team from the first half. Yeah, just already uh, a lot more composed on the uh, basketball in the first uh, in their first possession out in the second half. Terrell on the put back. Uh, uh, 41-17, Terrell picking up where she left off. Here come on the Rodders, pass half court. Zimmerman's going to set it up top the key. He, she's going to try to drive it. And it stops, pulls back, finds a pass on the wing. It's number 22, Ooh, Sierra Hardy. Back to Zimmerman. Five seconds on the shot clock, got to get it up. They're going to say and it's a, a push foul against Cal U. And already here in the second half, just uh, a lot more composed uh, during their possessions. Um, Central State, uh, Diamond Phillips able there to just drive into the, uh, drive into the paint and uh, uh, force a foul. So, oh, Central State inbound with a, a brand new shot clock, but they'll all throw it out of bounds. And they're going to say the ball is going to stay with Central State. No inbound to pass up to Zimmerman. Zimmerman throws it down on deep. Saved by uh, Harrison. And then Cal Yule take it themselves. Lloyd over to Harrison. She'll fake the three. Yeah, they're going to call a travel on Harrison. She was just a little too fast for uh, for her own good there. Just went for that shot fake, but uh, didn't fully stop and took that extra step. Zimmerman brings it up. She'll drive the lane and stop and go. Oh, floats up a prayer. No good. Brought down on by the Vulcans. Lead pass to Bennett. And just in and out of her hands, a little too much of a pass there. It's just been that type of game so far for for both of these teams. 25 turnovers, like I said, in the first half uh, for Central State and 11 in the first half here for Cal. Just, uh, just has been a sloppy game for both teams. So, oh, here comes Zimmerman, pass half court. court she'll drive the lane and down low. Shot up, blocked by the Vulcans. Saved by, <laughs> there, but it into the hands of the Vulcans. Lloyd brings it up past half court. Down low. 
Getting turned over or by the Vulcan. And they'll drive the lane and give and go up and in. Chambers makes that one on the fast break. Lloyd brings it up. <coughs> She'll drive it over to Harrison. Harrison over to Hudson. Over to Terrell. Turnover by the Vulcans. And drives it no good off the bottom of the backboard. Here comes Terrell up past half court. Three on two for the Vulcans. Over to Lloyd. She'll turn around and set things up. Yeah, at this point, after a couple possessions with turnovers, you just you just want to slow it down and get back into rhythm. Lloyd over to Harrison. Harrison back pass to Hudson for three. Good! Makes the score 44 to 19 now. Caillou brings it up. Uh, turnover, Lauren Bennett on the steal. Oh, three on one for Caillou. Bounce pass over behind the look to Lloyd. The give and go up and in. 46 to 19 your score. That is just excellent team basketball there by the Vulcans. Bennett with the steal. And then just, like I said in the first half, they they are excellent at making that extra pass to get the, uh, to get the best shot possible. Lloyd. They play in some man-to-man -man defense and a shot uh, up and short. Fourth there by number one, uh, Abigail, or Lola Chambers, excuse me. Lloyd brings it up past half court. Over to Hudson. Hudson back to Lloyd. Lloyd down low to Terrell. Shot up and good. And there it is again. Lloyd had a wide open three. Decides to make that extra pass, dump it inside to Terrell for the easy bucket. And here comes Peterson shot blocked by the Vulcan. And, and we're gonna get a timeout. All right. No, we're gonna get a... Not 100% sure what the call is here. Oh, timeout. They called a technical foul. Tactical or on Terrell. So oh, that's going to send him to the charity strike right, for Central State. Yeah, I'm not quite sure uh, what happened. I think she may have uh, may have like swung an elbow or something on the rebound. But uh, not always ideal if you're uh, if you're the Vulcans here. Yep. So the first shot uh, missed there. Second one up and good. 48 to 20, your score. <coughs> so Central State will inbound here after the tactical. And I'll be Chamber, or excuse me, Zimmerman setting it up. Over number 10. And Caitlin Nash. And that'll be a foul all again. Or a chart, excuse me, a, a travel walk. against uh, Caitlin Nash. Just uh, move that pivot step and or, uh, or move that pivot foot and another yet another turnover here for uh, for Central. Lloyd will bring it in. She's going to drive the lane. Quick bounce pass to Terrell. Terrell back, back to Bennett. She'll shoot from a free throw line and in. Makes it 50 to 20. And Calu, who has one of their biggest leads now, oh, out a 30-point deficit hit for the Marauders. A little spin move there, Air saved by Peterson, but she's going to step on the line. And that's just been the kind of luck for, for that. Uh, as we get a media timeout. Now uh, let's take a look at some highlights here, here John. Oh, and so far, the second half has been some interesting ones. That turning shot there, Air four. For the Marauders, and then right down on the court from Terrell, oh, snatches that, that rebound and then puts it back off the glass and in. And she's just bigger and stronger than everyone else. But uh, the Marauders actually had a couple of good possessions here in the second half, able to to get some easy points. They looked 
although they're not looking at their best, they have looked a lot better than they have in the first half. There's a three-point three shot from Hudson, and, that, and this three-on-one breakaway. Hey, watch here as Lloyd jumps up on the rush. Bennett to Harrison, and backhand, no look pass to Lloyd for two. And then here, or Lloyd dumps it down to Terrell. That give and go off the glass and in. Bennett shot uh, just moments ago. Oh, off the glass, off the rim, and in. <coughs> Don't forget the fall. Oh, the vault. Falcon basketball social media here. Here on Twitter. Here at, at calfalcons.com for more information as well. Oh, just go to Instagram um, or Twitter at calvalcon. And it's or CUTV ease as well. Oh, oh, CUTV underscore or PA as well. Also, fall, check out the new ooh, CUTV Instagram. Um, same handle as the Twitter or CUTV e underscore or PA. And the Vulcans are bringing it up here to start or at the inbound on four or 50 to go in the third quarter here. Lloyd over to Bennett. Three ball up off the back of the rip. Him no good. <clears throat> Cal, you going back to that trap defense now. Well, they got to be careful. Peterson sets it up. Passes over, stolen by the Vulcans. Another three on one. Lloyd to Hudson, up and in. A beautiful play there by Lloyd. Just jumps the, uh, uh, jumps the like the, uh, the player coming off the screen and is able to make a good pass out for the bucket. Peterson looking for some help here, and she'll get it. But it, it's Blunden. That one up and in, good for two. Lloyd will bring it up. 52 to 22, your score. Lloyd dumps it over to Hudson. Down low to Harrison. Harrison back up top to Lloyd. One at, and at three, two, two low. Lloyd drives it. It passes over to Hudson. Up off the arc. No good. Rebounded by the Marauders. Peterson brings it. Calhoun's going to bring some pressure here. A little spin move there. And no good. It's saved by Chambers, but into the hands of the Vulcans. Here comes Olivia Hudson on the rush. Shot up and in, and she's going to get another shot at the free throw line and to make it a three-point play. Count the bucket and one. Look at the replay here, John. Just, One. just able to drive back to her left and fling that shot up and then just excellent finish, excellent shot, excellent play so far. And I think you've said it, uh, you've said it there and you've said it a lot this game, just poor shots here from the Marauders. This seemed to be just short and they're hustling. And then you've said it a couple of times back into the arms of Cal. They're hustling to save the ball to get the rebound. They just fling it back in. Inbounds to a cow, uh, to a Vulcans player. Hudson will make that one in a three-point play. 55 to 22. Your score now. Marauders will make a substitution here. Here as Peterson brings it up over midcourt. She'll pass it in the corner and timeout. Oh, Central State. So while we get a moment, we're going to send the commercial real quick. For CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network. We'll be right back after this. If you are looking for a Christian club that features Bible study and spiritual nourishment, then come find your family with New Life Cal U. Swing by Oasis every Tuesday at 7 p.m. in Italy 321 to explore faith through Bible study, games, and fellowship. Or stop by Converge on Thursdays at 7 p.m. in the Natali Rotunda to make friends and enjoy life through casual hangouts. Everyone is welcome. Connect with New Life Cal U at www.newlifecalu.com backslash connect.
Welcome back here to the Convocation Center. And our Cal U leads it 55 to 22 over Central State University. With three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Er, John, and Central State took a timeout. What do you need to do here to try to get it some um, points back? Uh, you just uh, not turn the ball over. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Just uh, try to uh, compose yourself more in these situations. Try to uh, uh, try to get a better possessions for your team and and uh, just try to play better basketball. Peterson and dumps that one down low oh, to London. She'll drive it. It rolls around the rim and in. Makes the score 55 to 24. Lloyd sets it up about midcourt. Over to Bennett. Bennett, feeling a little pressure or to Lloyd. Lloyd, hard pass to Bennett. Three ball up and air mails it. Saved by the Vulcans, but just out of play. And it's going to go possession into who the Marauders. That was a good play there, too, by Lloyd. Just great crossover, fires that ball very hard over to Bennett, and she had a good shot. Just, just like I said, just one of those games where maybe it was a better game you're making that. Fast break here for the Vulcan, and Lloyd drives the lane. A little old juke move and in. In 57-24, long lead pass here for the Marauders and out of play and into their bench. So Cal will take over. There are 2.07 to go oh, here in the third. Going to get a substitution here. Aaron Bennett's going to go take a breather. Lloyd brings it up. Pass half court. Orton will get things set up. Looks like, like that 3 2 zone. Pass to Harrison. Over to Hudson. Off the front of the iron. No good. Hudson comes down with the rebound. And quick drive here. Air by the Vulcans over into the top of the arc. Three ball. Just air mail. Hold it by Cal U. And like I've said again, that's just great effort by. Uh, by uh, by Cal there getting those offensive rebounds out uh, out physically out muscling out wanting uh, Central State but just can't get the finishing touch on these shots. Peterson's going to drive it. London sets it up, drives the lane, and that's going to be a foul against Cal U. I'll be their third of the he quarter. Inbound pass coming from Central State. Ain't stolen by Cal U. Ooh, another one by Lloyd. Lead pass to uh, Harrison. Bounce pass up and in. Zada Lawrence with her first bucket of the game. 59-24 your score. Less than a minute to go here in the third. Three ball all blocked by Hudson. Lead pass to Lloyd. Breakaway chance. Up and in. 61-24 your score. Or Central State trying to get something going here. Passes to the top of the arc. Down the old oh, the, oh, quick pass in the corner. Or blocked by the Vulcans again. Another block, no, oh, off the back of the rim, shot up and foul. Oh, against number 12, oh, Talia Gillard. Excuse me, that foul's going to go against Olivia Hudson. Lloyd's going to check out of the game. Aim for a breather here. London makes her makes the first of the two free ones. Even though it has not been a uh, great performance here by Central State, 
Uh, the only shining light, I think, so far is uh, has been London. She's been great so far, and the team as a whole, they've been making their free throws. So that's a, that's a positive take from this game so something, far. Something that Cal U's been struggling with so far this game is at the free, free throw line. Lawrence, too strong on that one, and lead pass stolen by Olivia Hudson. Burris takes it. Eight seconds to go. Over to Hudson. Three ball up off the rim. Hudson, or Harrison shot up. Too strong. No good as they tried to catch that one. And 61 26 your score as we go into the final quarter of play. Cal U leads it for CU TV, CU TV Sports 1, and the PSAC Network. We'll be right back after this. Back by popular demand and better than ever is late night dining in the Natalie Student Center. Join us starting Monday, October 18th at the hot spot for evening dining, Natali Evening Eats, located on the second floor of Natali next to Umami. Open Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And on weekends, 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m., Natali Evening Eats is a one-stop shop for your favorite menu items. Orders can be placed through our mobile app or at the designated Evening Eats kiosk. We can't wait to see you there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Convocation Center as we get set for or the fourth quarter of action. But, but here, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for Cal U. New December 3rd at Bloomsburg. December 4th, Earth at East Stroudsburg. Or December 11th against at Bowie State, and then they return home, home against Westchester in PSAC E crossover play. And then December 19th, they'll take on Millersville and Kutztown here, here on January 20th. Oh, excuse me, January 2nd. That's a typo oh, there, folks. Sorry about that. All right, but all those upcoming home games, Westchester, Millersville, and Kutztown, will be here on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, and the PSAC Network. As we get set for the fourth quarter of action. And here we go. Olivia Hudson set the inbound on the Burris. Burris will bring it up. She'll set it up. Lawrence's shot up off the side of the rim. No good. The Marauders are going to bring it up, up quickly. That'll be number two. New Zimmerman, and, but that one's going to be stolen away. A Burris takes the, the lead pass. Too strong. On back up top to Hudson. Hudson over to Harrison. Back to Burris. Over to Lawrence. Lawrence, back to Harrison. Over to Burris. Down low. Oh, bucket up and in. Lawrence good for two. Ooh, that'll be her, her third and fourth point of the game. London drives the, in the lane. Too strong. Put back shot on by. Christmas and will have the putback shot on that one. And 63 to 28, your score. Lawrence. Shot up and good. Talia Gilliard here on the board now. And that one's stolen away. Hey, hey, for a moment by Cal U, U Burris just couldn't control the steal. As Harrison had swatted that one away. London shoots for three. Too strong, rebounded by the Vulcans. Burris, lead pass to Harrison. Harrison will slow it down. Back to Burris. Shot up and off the front of the rim, but she's going to the line shooting two. She almost made that circuit shot there. Uh, great pass there um, by Harrison. Just able to dish it back in to Burris and Burris with the acrobatics just couldn't get it to fall, but is going to the line. Burris will go to the line and it's Harrington and checks into the game and with Mapekin. And if you're Cal U at this point, you just uh, you uh, get some of your um, your bench players in. You give them a chance to uh, 
come out here and run the offensive reform, and as well as you just uh, start slowing the game down, taking these possessions, running the cl uh, the shot clock down, and just trying to uh, finish this game off. Barris will make both of those as we get a foul against against the Marauders. That'll be their second of the quarter. And that's going to go against Lola Chambers. Harrington will inbound on pass to Barris. Barris will bring it up over to Lawrence. Lawrence will over to New Gilliard. Gilliard's going to drive the lane. And back to Lawrence. Both of them getting some pressure. Over to Barris. Ten to go on the shot clock. Burris on a, a nice little crossover play. Drives the lane. Shot up. And in. That was an amazing play there by Burris. She's able to flip it over to her right hand and get that spin on it to, uh, to get it to go in. Nice little pass there. There by uh, the Marauders, but stolen away by the Vulcans. Gilliard shot up and good. Seventy-one twenty-eight. Your score. Over in the corner to London. London drives the lane and pulls up, up, backs it up, up to number two. New Zimmerman. Zimmerman shot up and good. Cuts the lead to seventy-one thirty-one. Barris over to Lawrence. Lawrence over to Harrington. Three ball up. And she'll airmail that one out of play. Get a quick substitution here for the Marauders. So we'll see number 52. Who carry on. Uh, Maros check back into the game. Just uh, unlucky there by uh, Harrington on that shot. Has, has been struggling tonight. Does not have a, does not have a point yet. But, um, but she has been pivotal in uh getting these possessions here for Cal. Blocked by Mepeka, and Cal U's going to come back three on four, or four on three, excuse me. I'll slow it down, set things up. Burris over to Harrington. Harrington over to McPeakin. Back to Burris. Up top, up three ball. Good for Cal. Gilliard er, with the hot hand here, here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just put her in, and she's just she's just making everything. Every every shot from anywhere on the court, she's just been hitting so far. That one's going to be out of play, off the foot out of a marauder. Her and Cal U will take over. Lawrence is going to check out of the game. Aim in number fifteen. Aim. will check in for Cal U. Barris will bring it up. A little over five minutes to go here in regulation time. 74 to 30. Cal U leads it. Harrington. And running that three around on one. That one's good. Be another foul. Oh, no. It's going to be a traveling call against Cal U. Possession will go to ooh, the Marauders. Here come on the Marauders past half court. Zimmerman feeling some pressure. Down low to Maros. Maros a shot almost went it, and no good. Uh, turnaround shot. That <laughs> save me. A Chambers a shot. No good. Uh, retained again by the Marauders. London drives the lane. Shot up and fouled. Just like a game of volleyball there. just The ball just keeps getting smacked around. No one can seem to pull it down for the rebound and falls to London, who uh, is able to draw the foul. So we're going to take a timeout here. Here, folks, we're going to look at some replays here. Here from the second half. So we got a moment here er, from earlier on in the game. Aim. Team, this one. 
And there's a three ball from Hudson. That was good. And then the fast break here. Here, as you see, Bennett gets the breakaway. A bounce pass over to Harrison. Back to Lloyd for the easy bucket. And this is where Caillou has been uh, their best so far today, just um, being able to capitalize on these turnovers on the fast break, um, being able to find the open person and being able to uh, make these baskets. And here you got the steal. Go for Caillou. Lloyd aid with a three on one. And she fi finds her, her partner, Aaron Crime, over there. Aaron up and in for the easy bucket. And then this one here. Here Lloyd took herself from end to end. This one she finds Lauren Bent, or excuse me, takes it herself. And then Cal Ute, who just on a fast breaks, breakaway here. Here, three on O. Oh. Harrison stops over to Lawrence, up and in. And then the block shot out here. Here, long lead pass to Loy, aid for another er, easy bucket. And who literally just walked to the hoop for this one. Yeah, that's just how it how it's been all night here for for the Vulcans. They were just they just have been able to uh, to capitalize on these block shots and turnovers uh, by the Marauders and have just been able to make it into easy points. London will make the first one and cuts the lead to 74-31, and she'll miss the second one. Not something we haven't said too much today is the ball scramble for the ball jump ball. So we had a timeout called. Central State called the timeout on that one. Well, as we got a moment here, here John, take a look at some um, at the social media for accounts here for the Cal Vulcans at Cal Vulcans for all the athletics. For anything going on, then for CU TV, you go to CU TV. He underscore PA on Instagram and Twitter to her our brand new Instagram account. While we got a moment here, John, on take a look at some scores and stats. A couple games around the PSAC as East Stroudsburg falls to Jefferson University 79 to 52. Clarion and defeats eats Penn State Shenanga 102 to 57. <clears throat> and, that, and waiting on a score update as, we, as Shepard is taking on Virginia Union. And Shepard currently up, up 88 to 60 in that one. And we have a couple stats here from uh, from this game so far. Uh, for Central State, uh, Ken um, uh, Kennedy London's leading the scoring here for them. She has uh, she has 10 points, and Diamond Phillips has seven. And for, and as for the Vulcans, uh, Olivia Hudson has taken over uh, the lead in points. She has 13. Yeah, and jump ball all called here. Here after the inbound pass to Hardy. Possession arrow favoring California. And we have yet another good stat here. Uh, 37 turnovers here for uh, for the Central State Marauders. Uh, I don't, do not think that's very good. <laughs> uh, float away shot for the Vulcans, no good. Here comes the Marauders. Bounce pass down low to Maros. Maros shot no good. Good and foul called. It's going to go again. Hence the Vulcans here. That'll be their second. That'll be the first, first foul against McPeak. London's going to drive it. Float away shot. And too strong. Brought down by Cal U. Harrington lead pass. Skip pass over to Barris, up and in. Here come the Marauders back strong. Over to, over to Zimmerman, in for two, or excuse me, me, me Allen. Drives the lane, in. up top to McPeak, over to Barris. Barris' pass tipped away. 
A save by McPeak. Back to Barris. Now you just got on a shoot quick. They got five seconds over to Harrington. And Bucket is good. That'll be her first, first points of the game. Yeah, that was just an excellent cut there by Harrington, just able to slip in uh, behind behind a defender with only a few seconds left on the clock and a great find there. Only two Vulcans that have not scored yet and in the game. And that one up, no good. A traveling in call again. It's the Marauders. Barris will bring it up over half court. Over to McPeak. McPeak. Over to Ego. Back to McPeak. Over to Barris. Barris is going to call. All the offense going for round one. Harrington shot from three. No good. And here come on the Marauders up the court. Zimmerman sets it up. Bounce pass to Hardy. Hardy over to Maros. Maros is shot. Good for two. Who's 78 to 33 your score. Or excuse me, 78-35 your score with two and a half left to go. Barris takes the pass. Over to McPeak. Thought about the three for a moment and stopped. Uh, and that's going to be a charge call against the Vulcans. Yeah, that was just a uh, an overextension of the arm, you can say. It just looked like she uh, just pushed her over. I don't know if uh, – I don't think that's allowed. Uh, it looked like a forearm shiver or like a running back. Here come the Marauders. London's going to drive the lane. Ain't shot up. No good. Off the front of the iron. Hardy, he goes up. But they're going to say no shot on that one. And, but it's going to be a foul against Cal U. Number 15, that's Ishigo, her first. That'll be Ishigo's for first foul of the game. Cal U, or excuse me, in the Marauders inbound. On bounce pass. Off the front of the iron. No good. Rebound trot. I see the... Ain't nothing. And blocked again by the Vulcans, and here they come with authority. And McPeak on it. <laughs> They're going to grab that one, but it's going to be a foul, I think. He could get and Cal U. They called a travel yeah. there. She just uh, she just stood still and moved her pivot foot whenever she was surrounded, so ball back to Central State. Maros takes the pass, looks for a shot. Uh, it's going to throw it down low, but it's going to be another foul against Cal U. I'll be their fifth. Foul number 15, that was Tijico, her second deep spin. Katarina Maros at the line, two shots. Maros' first shot up and good. Maros is 6 3 fr a center freshman. And makes both of those ones from Baltimore, Maryland. She'll bring it up. Up oh, now, Barris. Oh, excuse me, from Greensboro, North Carolina. Oh, on Maris's stat line, Harrison. Oh, she goes. Shot goes off the rim and out. Here comes London now. All for the Marauders. They're going to call a blocking foul on Cal U. I thought she had it there. I thought she just jinxed it there, huh? <laughs> London misses the first one. Makes the back hit. And of the two free one. And 78-38 your score. Paris will bring it up. Over to McPeak. McPeak looking for or, or someone to pass it to. Over to Harrington. Harrington's going to drive it. It stops. Goes back to the top of the arc. Last minute of regulation in here. Here. Harrington down low. Oh, the bear is good for two. Ooh, 80 to 38 your score. Less than 45 to go. Here come the Marauders. Oh, the Marauders. Off the arc and out. 
Stolen by McPeak, and we're going to get it a foul called against Kendrick McPeak. Excuse me, the correction to Deshaunty Miller or uh, the Marauders. Barris will bring it up. She's going to try to kill some time here. Barris going to drive the lane and, and try to get a little fancy. Stolen away by the Marauders. And that's going to be a foul against Shiga over the Vulcans. And Beijing Zimmerman back to the line again. She'll make the first one. 80 to 39, your score. What a great name that is, by the way. I just had to point that out. Beijing Zimmerman. A plus name. And she'll make the, make the second of that one. On 80 to 40, your score. Or with 15 to go. You gotta think the Vulcans are just gonna try to run out the clock on this one. And Barris just playing a game of keep away. Two, one, and and that'll be we'll do it right here at the convocation center. Or Cal U ran away with this one in early. Yeah, it was just a uh, a very interesting game to say the least by both teams. I don't uh there are definitely some takeaways that both teams can uh can appreciate from this, but uh, there's a lot of negative from both teams that uh, they're going to have to uh, change going into their next match. Yeah, definitely going to have some things to work on. On um, Cal U walks away with the victory. Their next game will be e on December or the third at Bloomsburg. Er, our next broadcast will be brought up be here er, on the 18th. Eighth when Westchester comes to town on for the women's game, but we also have a men's game team against Carlo later on, on here soon. And so you don't want to miss that one. And 